I broke the hour, broke the hour side, broke the hour, broke the hour side, broke the hour, broke the hour side. I all praise unto the hour, I me outside, well, how rock I could us. Double honors unto the apostles, a great millstone. And honest your brothers to be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So I'm back out here again, uh, through the grace and mercy of your heart, me outside, uh, to push uh, this word, okay, the prophecies, okay, the um, understanding of the scriptures, okay, uh, the truth of the Bible, so you can understand. And um, as you figured, there's quite a lot of different things happening right now uh, in terms of prophecy. Okay, and um, in terms of prophecy, uh, a lot of things, uh, scriptures, a lot of scriptures are being fulfilled, a lot of prophecies are being fulfilled right now. And um, that's why the men in the Lord are out here to uh, speak about the uh, prophecies, man. Okay, so I've got a few articles that I prepared in the background that I'm going to get into. Okay, but let me start off with, a, with, with some scriptures, with some precepts. Okay, um, I'll start here within the book of Isaiah, the 54th chapter. And it should be a you know, pretty decent set today. Feeling all right, so laws will get into some uh, some teaching. So I'm gonna start here in um, Isaiah 55 and 11. And um, let me start from the top verse. But the point I want is in the 11th verse, okay? I'll start from the top. It says, Ho, everyone that thirsteth, thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he uh, 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 to the waters, and he that hath no money, come ye and buy. Okay, and eat. Yea, buy um, milk without honey and without a price, which is talking about this word. Okay, um, pretty much. Right now, you know, we, the, the the main thing people are supposed to be, okay, seeking right now is the truth. Here it is. You got it to where a, 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 a plastic is, uh, plastic pollution is at an all time high. Okay, cancer is at an all time high. All right. Um, you got rumors of wars being spoken about. The main objective, everybody, okay, regardless of their nation, supposed to be seeking right now is, is, is the truth. Now, even more so for you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, because as you go into the scriptures, you find out the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, they're the children of the Maasai. And uh, uh, as, as a result of being the children of the Maasai, you're supposed to be seeking the, the, the Lord. Now, when you go into the scriptures, I believe it's within the book of uh, Baruch, okay? You get the scripture within Baruch. When we were supposed to, when we went off, and served out the gods, well, as a, as a prophecy was was as, was uh, that we was going to do that. Pretty much, when we was going to hear this truth, when you guys going to see Israelites coming, you know, uh, 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 looking at brothers and seeing videos and that, when they was going to see these things, they were supposed to seek the Lord ten times more. All right, so we're in the times where pretty much um, you're supposed to be seeking the Lord ten times more. Okay, going back onto the first point I was making that. This is this is a this is a time for truth truth so, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 searching. So let me see if I can um, find the um, precept right quick. It might be within the book of Baruch. I forget exact the exact um, scripture, but this one's this one's decent. This is Baruch four and twenty five. It says, "My my children suffer patiently the wrath that is to come upon you of the most side." All right, so. We was going to catch hell, all right, in this society, all right, underneath Esau, all right, when you go into the book of Job 9 and 24, the scripture says that what? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Now, the, really, the scripture that I wanted goes, um, uh, 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 so it was your mind to um, to go off, so you're supposed to seek the moral side, Yahweh Shemi Al Shah, 10 times more, all right? But, you know, this will, this will do for the time being. It says, uh, suffer patiently the wrath of the moral side that's come upon you, okay, for thine enemy has persecuted thee. But surely thou shalt see the destruction, and thou shalt tread upon his neck. So when you read these scriptures, okay, and you see the prophecies that are coming to pass, you're supposed to be thirsting for the bread, okay, which is these scriptures, the comforter. Oh, you got you got a thing out there called what? Comfort food. Well, the scripture talks about how this this word was likened unto what? Unto milk and honey and all of that stuff. Let me get that within the book of Isaiah, the 28th chapter. All right, it was likened unto honey. It was likened unto all of that good stuff. Okay, that food. All right, but going going even further with that analogy, Jake is supposed to be pursuing this hard and and feasting on it, man. Okay, uh, the book of Isaiah uh, twenty eight and nine says um, uh, twenty eight and nine. All right, uh, Isaiah twenty eight and nine. It says, "Whom shall he teach knowledge, and whom shall he make to understand the doctrine?" So uh, uh, pretty much, you got it to where. Um, you got 
you got all kind of people that believe that they have the truth. And you got all, all kind of people that believe that they're pursuing the truth and they're looking for the truth. So the, the question here was, 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 was posed, who was the Lord going to teach? Or uh, was he going to give the understanding of the mysteries of the scriptures? You go into the Bible, there's a lot of statements uh, that are made, okay, concerning the uh, uh, them that are sanctified. That's when the Most High was going to give the truth. The elect was going to get the truth. All of these kind of precepts and all of that, all right? But who was these people that was going to be sanctified? Who were they going to be? All right, because he wasn't going to, damn sure wasn't everybody. The proof of that is um, the book of Romans. I know I'm a little bit all over the place, but we're going to focus in, lock in, all right, as, as, as I continue. So the book of Romans 11 and 7, it says, um, let me start, and I can start from the top. Uh, uh, Romans 11 and 1, it says, I say then, as the most I cast away, people, God forbid, for I myself am I'm an Israelite of the seed of Abraham. And that was, that was the, the man, uh, uh, Paul speaking there. Okay, and continuing, he says, For the Most High hath not cast away his people, whom he foreknew, for what ye not uh, know what the scripture saith of Elias, right? He maketh intercession for the Most High, uh, to the Most High against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed all the prophets, and, and they dig down thine altars, I am left alone. Okay, and that's that's what sometimes, you know, when you're in this truth, that's, that's what the sentiment sometimes can be. But the reality of the situation is the Mosai has set up a remnant, okay, whom he's, 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 he's chosen from the foundations of the earth to be the children, the, the humble that was going to understand the scriptures, man. Okay, and it continues, it says, um, um, the Lord, they have killed all the prophets, okay, they dig down thine altars. And when you're looking at Babylon, okay, uh, uh, which is America, and you're looking at the state of, of moral decay right now, like I said, that's what it, that's what, especially when you're going back to 2010, 2008, you, you're thinking in your mind, there's no way the Mosai is going to dig out any more people out of, this, out of the, the people that are left now. But the reality of the situation is the Mosai has always kept a remnant. Okay, the Mosai has always kept a remnant. And this is the times that when you're going to see the remnant really flooding in right now. Okay, you got it to where the, 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 uh, uh, um, the truth is out there on a mass scale. You got all kind of brothers, all kind of, hell, you got all kind of camps talking about the thing of Israel. But now, you're talking about great millstone. We're going in hard, man. Okay, we're going in. The, tr the truth is out there in in, in 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 full effect. Okay, and people are seeing the, the different prophecies coming to pass. You're seeing uh, out there within Sweden, pretty much out there within Sweden, they're trying to make this um, RFID chip the main thing. Okay, that they're going to be using for transactions, unlocking doors, all that kind of stuff. And when people see that on on the YouTube or whether it be on the news on RT, and then they see the different videos of the brothers be pushing, well, guess what? People was going to be waking up to the truth. The remnant of the Mosai set forth, whom he was going to teach knowledge, okay, the humble, okay, those people are going to be coming into the understanding that what, that they're the Israelites, and, and subsequently when the Mosai has it to where the elect seals, of which we believe the elect is already sealed, but when the Mosai has it to where that happens, then the end was going to come, okay? So it says that, um, but what's, what's saith the answer of the Mosai unto him? He says, I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to Baal, to the image of Baal. So here it is, you got it to where you got the image of uh, um, uh, uh, the beast. All right, this is within the book of Revelations. Okay, um, might be the 13th chapter. Okay. find it but pretty much you got it to where the Lord was gonna have mercy upon the people that had not bowed their knee to the what to the image of the, of, of the beast okay now let me see um let me see if I can find this this precept okay I wanna just bear with me bear with me find it let me quickly search it out because it's a good precept to, uh, to, to, to put in here because it ties in with what it said back then right with the image okay with it with it with the image uh, of the um of, of Baal, right? But now you got it to where you got the image of what? You got the image of, of the beast. Okay, the, the way this man pretty much has set up his system, 
all right uh, 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 um, uh, uh, pretty much the way this man is, is set up his system you go to where everybody is into the vibration of what they're into the vibration of the spiritual demon Satan man okay you're talking about Christmas you had what was uh, the so-called Christmas uh, only a couple of days ago all right and pe pretty much the whole entirety of the whole world is underneath that vibration you had it where you are at the, um, this individual out there from the Middle East I forget I think he was a hype it was a, some kind of a, 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 a political political figure or whatever whatever he basically said it to where if his people was was getting into that vibration basically that was one of the worst things that, that they could do he said it was worse than murder okay so that's that's the vibration that you got there in the so-called Eastern world and they're saying to their people to look what to not get westernized but see if you're an Israelite you ain't supposed to be into the customs following the customs of the heathen because when you go into the scriptures in the book of Jeremiah it talks about the customers of the heathens and how we wasn't going to be dismayed. We shouldn't be dismayed made of them. In fact, I'll get there in a second. Okay, so let me get the image of the beast. And then I'll read that scripture. And then I'll go into that precept. All right, uh, regarding... Um, okay, that precept regarding what? That regarding uh, the, 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 um, the customs of the heathen. Which all these people are into the customs of the heathen. But guess what? Even out of all of that, the Most High has preserved unto himself an elect. Okay, the book of Revelation is 20. And, and I can start from the top. It says, And I saw an angel come down from, from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit, and a great chain in his hand. All right, so you gotta, we have to be careful with, with the book of Revelations. It goes, sometimes it's speaking about past tense. Sometimes it's talking about a, a, a future tense. Like how we reading it right now, sometimes it's talking about past tense. But sometimes it's talking about a, a prophecy that's going to come to pass. So here it is, it's talking about how the angel put the, uh, uh, having the key to the bottomless pit. Okay. And he says, and he laid hold on the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bowed him a thousand years. That's already happened. Okay. Esau was bound for a thousand years. All right. And you had it to where you had a, a period known as the Byzantine Empire. All right. That's when you had it to where you had the Moors and all of that. Yeah, you had the more you had the Moors in that, okay, in the Byzantine Empire, and they was what? They was ruling for a period of a thousand years. Prior to that, you had it to where you had the Greco-Roman Empire, really the Roman Empire, okay, that dwindled and it became the Holy Roman Empire, which later transpired to what? The Byzantine Empire. So when that when that dragon was laid off for for, for, uh, for a period of a thousand years, that's already come to pass, and they researched underneath the family of the Borgias, run about the 1600s, and they came out and they basically started ruling the world again and it, and it happened just like how it happened before going back onto the book of Maccabees the scripture says that what when these people had rulership of the earth evils were multiplied within the earth now you go to where what they're in rulership again well guess what evils are at all time high and like the scripture says when, when the wicked are in rulership the people what they, they mourn but when the righteous are in rulership you go to where what the people rejoice so you go to where the people are mourning you do a thing called mathematical extrapolation, then you find out that what? That the wicked are in rulership. Okay? Revelations 20 and uh, 2 and says, And laid hold on the dragon, the old serpent, okay, which is called the devil, which what? The devil means what? The, uh, 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 um, if, uh, which one is it? Satan is the adversary and the devil means what? The deceiver. Okay, the Latin word Diabolos meaning deceiver. Now you check out, you go out there into the British Museum and you look at the different artifacts that they have out there. You can clearly see from the ancient artifacts, okay, the, the, uh, the ancient Hebrew Israelites, which are the Hebrew Israelites now, were people of color. Okay, you can see the images of the Lord were people of color. Hell, you can go on there on, 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 on um, history concerning them different Hamites, the Egyptian section, or the different Hamitic sections that they have out there. You can clearly see the old, all those premier uh, societies and civilization that existed in prior times were of all dark-skinned people. Now, when you go out there and you pump, punch it out there into Google or you watch a movie that's been made in recent times, they go to where all of those people look like they're what? They're, they're, like they're Caucasian. That's why we call this man the deceiver because he's basically led the whole people to deceive every he's deceived everybody into thinking that what that they've always been in rulership okay that they've always been the, the greatest civilization upon the earth when in actual fact they've gone out there and stolen every all the different civilization the technologies from the civilized different civilizations that you have out there and amalgamated it to being their own man matter of fact even the, the names that they put upon themselves that's not their name okay they're neither white, they're neither European, 
okay they need the english because when you check out the history of england okay or you check out the history of america there was people already inhabiting those lands before the greco-roman empire went out there and conquered them and when you check out the history you pretty much you find out when the when the rome was expanding pretty much you had people already over here dark-skinned people that was living here within england in fact when you go into the word england is what the land of the angels man okay the same thing goes with america going back onto the king um going back onto the king uh Shah Manasseh the fifth okay and the different uh, uh, uh Syrian kings that put hell upon uh uh the native America the native uh, 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 uh northern uh, uh it was a northern speaking kingdom when you check out the history of that you find out that the the, the um the Latin speaking tribes went out there into the Americas and they was living there in peace right up until the time that Christopher Columbus so-called found that land right so all of this history that, 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 that people have been that's basically they, they lie about okay that's why this man is known as what the devil the deceiver okay so it says there and laid hold on the dragon all right talking about the entirety of the roman empire their whole power structure that's the dragon man the beast whatever you whatever the scripture says it you might call it egypt one time you might call it assyria one time you might call it a, a, a babylon one time but but the whole entirety of it is known as what the dragon is known as the beast okay and the image of the beast is what the, their customs their way of life and when you check out what, what what was known as Hellenizing, pretty much what they said when um, when um, the Greeks was Hellenizing everybody, they said everybody's gonna get into the uh, gonna follow the ways of the Greeks and they gotta worship the ways of the Greeks, man. Okay, like how you go to where people worship the way of America and they're getting all up into the way of America. That's worshiping the image of the beast, the customs like a, a Christmas, Easter. Okay, that's all the customs of what of, of the beast. Okay. And like how the scripture says that what that our uh, uh, Babylon has been a golden cup within the Lord's hand, and basically the Most High has poured out all of that, all of that upon everybody, and everybody's getting into it. But still, even still in that, the Most High reserved unto him the elect that have not bowed down their that, that bowed down their knees unto what unto the image of the beast, just like how we was talking about within the Book of Romans, the uh, the the eleventh chapter. So it goes on here. It says, um, um, excuse me. The second verse, it says, And he laid hold on the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. So he was bound for a thousand years. Now he's back in power for a short period of time until the Most High destroy him. Okay? So it says there, uh, third verse, And cast him into the bottomless pit, which was out there in, 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 in Europe, the, the, the deep places within Europe where there was no there was no mineral resources. There was nothing, man. It was like a bottomless pit. There was no resources there. Okay, there was no veg. There wasn't. There wasn't uh, what's known as vegetation, so trees and all of that. They just were pushed out there into the caves, man. Okay, so it says there, uh, third verse, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him a thousand, uh, shut him up, and pull it, uh, set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more until the thousand years be fulfilled. Because when they was in power, okay, prior to the thousand years, when you talk about the Greco-Roman Empire. The, the scripture says that what the heathen laid hold of the book of the law and sought to paint their own image so when they was in power during the time of the greco roman empire they was going out there to deceive the whole world okay just in their very nature the scripture talks about how he was a murderer from the beginning so they're all about murder when you got murder you got lies you got deceit okay because you gotta you talking about stomach stabbing someone in the back you gotta keep that lie going man okay and when you check out the different history that, that you have about the greco romans it was a whole it was a, a it was just a history based off of what it was a history based off of treachery okay lies deceit murder all that kind of stuff okay and that's that's basically the lifestyle that they built out here that everybody is trying to assimilate toward okay so continuing it says there the um, in the fourth verse um and i saw uh, uh, uh so the third verse uh, rather and he cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years be fulfilled okay and, and and after that he must be loosed a little season so we're living through that little season now okay this is the little season that he's talking about when you're talking about the 1600s they came into power okay now they're in power and they're ruling under what they're ruling in in total wickedness man okay they've gone out there into the world and, 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 and made it a whole desolate wilderness okay but see the more side sees all of that going back onto the book of isaiah the 24th chapter the scripture says that what that he should destroy them that destroy the earth okay so the more side sees the more side's got the record and he's gonna what he's gonna overturn esau's power man all right uh fourth verse and here's the point and it says um and i saw the thrones and they that sat upon them 
and judgment was given unto them and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai going to the book of Mark the 13th chapter because when you go into the book of Mark the 13th chapter pretty much you find out there was going to be martyrs for Yahweh Shai man there was going to be right there was going to be certain people okay certain individuals right that was going to be put to death for the witness of Yahweh Shai man okay that's just the reality of the situation that Hey, that might be anybody, but see, that's a good ticket because you're gonna die. You're dying the same way the Lord died, man. Okay, for the witness of the or for this truth, for witness unto Yahweh Shai. Okay, so continuing, it says there, uh, um, and for the word of the Mosai, um, which have not worshipped the beast, neither had his image, neither had received the mark upon their foreheads or in their right hands. Okay, and they lived and reigned with, the, with your house a thousand years. So that's that's basically where you want to be in, man. You want to be a part of that. Now, there's another scripture I, I said I was going to get. All right. But, but uh, it, it slips my mind. So let me go back onto the book of Romans, the 11th chapter. So Romans, the 11th chapter now. Um, and this is the uh, the fourth verse. So it says here, but which saith, but what saith the, the more say unto him? It says, I reserved 7,000 men, which we're living, hey, the more side reserved. Okay, particularly individuals, okay, even right up until now that was gonna come into this truth at the last at the last trump, man. I believe even the scripture says that there was gonna be a certain amount that was gonna come at the last trump. Okay? So it says that um I reserved unto myself seven thousand men, that's not exactly seven thousand, that's just a complete number, okay, who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal, who have not bowed the knee to this day that have not bowed the image to what? Bow the knee to what? To the image of the beast, man. Okay, that, 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 that the scripture says, let me get this um, within the book of uh, Ezekiel, the ninth chapter. There was going to be men out here that was going to be sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst here, man. They be looking at this society, they be looking at the hypocrisy, okay, or the Roman Catholic Church. They be looking at the hypocrisy of these different religions, man. Okay, and when they was going to see the truth, or which the truth, like I said, is out here in full swing, Okay, when they was going to see the truth, they was going to get into the word, man. And that's why it's...